I attract money, wealth is in my reach I got everything I want and everything I need I keep my mind open, abundance overflows I budget right and I know where all my money goes I am debt free and money works for me Money in my sleep, a magnet for prosperity Ain't nothing wrong with that What up Kingdom Builders? Welcome back to my channel I'm Ebony Yvonne, your favorite business strategist in these internet streets. Welcome to Soul Shark Land. This is my internet home where I help you to go from confused to the cash generating boss that we both know you are meant to be. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you four tips, one, two, three, four tips on how to get in front of the right audience, okay? So, so many times people come to me with an existing business and the two things that people always tell me or ask is Ebony how do I get more clients or Ebony how can I get more sales okay sorry you guys my mic just fell but I think you guys can still hear me okay <laughs> All right, so let's jump right in with way number one the first way that you can actually get in front of the right audience is by leveraging competitors who don't offer the same thing as you right they may offer something slightly different so let's say you're in the beauty industry and let's say that you personally sell lashes right so you may consider actually collaborating with other people who are also in the beauty space that offer complimentary products and services so if you sell lashes maybe you want to partner with um lash techs that don't have their own lash line right so you could tell them hey whenever someone comes to you to get your get their lashes done you could just recommend me for the lashes right they can come to me and get the lashes or you can offer your lashes wholesale to them so they don't even have to come to you every time somebody wants their lashes done Another way that you may want to go about this is let's say you are someone who um, offers jewelry, right? You sell jewelry. You would want to partner with someone who doesn't necessarily sell jewelry, but they have clients that would need it, right? So you may want to partner with a stylist and you may say, hey, whenever you're styling your clients and they're looking for jewelry, send them my way, right? And vice versa. Or maybe you want to partner with photographers that um, maybe they're helping their client prepare for a brandy photo shoot. And so it's like, hey, I could provide the jewelry for the photo shoot, right? So those are some things to think about. Think about how you can collaborate with people who are competitors, but don't necessarily offer the same exact thing. All right, so let's get into way number two, 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 two all right? The second way that you can get in front of the right audience is by partnering with people who don't offer the same key products and services as you. So what I mean by this is like in the first example, I told you how to partner with people who offer um, complimentary products and services, right? So if you sell lashes, you can partner with a last tech or you can partner with someone who sells lip gloss. In this example, I'm telling you to reach out to people who do exactly what you do but they don't offer the same thing like they don't have the same key products and services so what i mean by this is let's say like i am a business coach right my specialty is literally helping people to launch their business start their business from scratch so i have a lot of friends who are also business coaches but they kind of focus on different things so i have one friend who is a business coach but she more so handles the legal aspects of your business so um setting up your business name your business entity getting your trademarks getting your copyrights and all those things i have another friend who's also a business coach but she focuses more so on the branding aspect helping you come up with your brand identity your logo your messaging so even though we're all business coaches we all kind of have our own lane so we definitely collaborate all the time so that we can refer people so if someone comes to me and they say they need a business coach but what they really want is branding then I will send them to, to my girl Marie, right? So I want you to keep that in mind 
in your own business again over in soul struck land it is all about collaboration over competition so we work together for one common end goal which is moving the kingdom forward all right that's the only goal that we have over here all right so moving right along to way number three which i know y'all hate to hear me say this all the time but you got to be social on social media, okay? When you show up on social media, when you are visible, when you are social, when I say social, I don't mean just like posting and ghosting. Like you go in, you add a story, you make a post, you share a reel, and then you bounce, you leave. No, you actually show up, you leave comments, you engage with other people, you watch stories, you reply, you react, you engage, you you have like real virtual conversations if that's a thing. So I am that person, like I love watching reels all the time, right? And so when I see reels that are really creative or really funny, I will comment and let people know exactly what I thought about that reel, okay? Um, if it's funny to me, I may just hit a reaction with the laugh emoji. If it is really creative, I may actually respond with like a sentence or a couple of sentences about what I really thought or how I actually felt about it, what it reminded me of or whatever. So don't be afraid to be social on social media. When you are social, you will get so much more visibility just because you're building community and engaging with other people. People tend to gravitate to social media because of the sense of community that it provides, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're being a part of that community and you're not excluding yourself by just posting and ghosting. So, with that being said, we are going to stroll right into way number four. Last but not least is to get offline. If you want to be able to get in front of the right audience, don't be afraid to take your online business offline, go to local networking events, go to conferences that are going to be specific to your industry, get out there, network, socialize in person, and you will be surprised at the type of people that you can meet and the connections that you can make that will actually lead to being able to build your brand awareness and get sales, get clients, okay? So those are the four ways that I have for you of how you can get in front of the right audience. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. Have you tried any of these before? Are you going to try any of them? Are you going to try all of them? Which one are you going to try first, right? Let me know in the comments below. Y'all know I love to hear your thoughts. I love to hear your feedback. So let me know in the comments. Until then, if you are not already subscribed, baby, what is you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So every time I upload a video just like this one, you, my friend, will be the first to know. And in the meantime, until I upload another video, you can go ahead and hang out and watch these two right here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all.